The Sephora Savings event is here. I'm going to be sharing with you my top 25 picks, including longtime favorites, new finds, and a few items that are on my wish list. This is a tiered sale event, so the percentage off ranges from 10 to 30%, and it depends on your level within the Sephora membership, when you are able to save and how much you're able to save. I'm going to put all the information on an end slide so you can go check that out. I'll also have the links to my top 25 in the description and in a pinned comment. So let's jump into my 25 favorite picks for the Savora Savings Event. We're going to cover all areas of beauty today, including skincare devices, skincare, body care, hair care, and a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna start out with skincare devices. There are a few that are on sale. Just a reminder that these devices are usually last year's model. My first pick is the Foreo Luna. This is the Mini 3. Love this for a little added benefit when cleansing. I just put on my cleanser on damp skin, swirl this around my face, and it gives me just that extra cleanse that sometimes I need, especially overnight when my tretinoin has kind of built up, my skin's a little flaky, or my evening skincare just doesn't feel like it's rinsing off, I'll reach for this and do a little bit of an extra massage and exfoliation. It's very gentle, great for all skin types. Now, one on my wish list is the new Mini Plus New Face. I was going to exchange this, but then they came out with the Mini Plus, so I think I'm going to bite the bullet and get the Mini Plus. That is going to be on sale, and surprisingly, it is the new generation. So that's probably going to go really quickly, and hopefully those of you who are in the lower tiers can still pick it up, but I'm sure later on in the season, there will be other opportunities to purchase these devices on sale. All right, last is one of my favorite little microcurrent devices. This is the Foreo Mini. I take this on vacation. I love it. My face is small enough to do a full facial with this two or three minutes per side, and it's a one and done. It's perfect for vacation because it's so tiny and super easy to take the charger. The charger is very small. So this is one of my favorite little microcurrent devices for vacations. Let's jump into some skincare. Now, I didn't have any fave picks for cleansers, but I do have some lip and eye products that I absolutely love. These are somewhat new to me in 2023. It's the Tatcha combination, their eye cream, the Peony eye cream. These aren't new releases, but they're new to me. I am a Laneige fan from way back, the lip mask, overnight lip mask, but the Tatcha lip mask, the Kisu, has won my heart. And it's not an inexpensive lip mask, so I highly encourage, if you're curious about this, to get it during the sale. I'm gonna be picking up another one. This one is almost empty. It does last forever. I prefer this as a lip mask when I'm getting ready in the morning to kind of soften up my lips before I do my makeup and my skin, you know, after my skincare, or if I'm not gonna wear any lipstick that day, I'll use this just to plump up my lips and hydrate my lips. Even though I've had a lip mask overnight, which is the Laneige, it's a little bit heavier. So the Laneige for me personally doesn't work as well under makeup, where this works perfectly under all my lip glosses and all my lipsticks. So this is a new favorite find, as well as the Tatcha Eye, the Silk Peony. This is not an inexpensive item. Tatcha to me is kind of a mid to luxury brand, so it's a great time to pick up this brand during the sale, and I do love this brand. This is the Peony Eye Cream. Now what is wonderful about this is it gives a slight brightening effect, and so it gives just that shimmer and brightening, as well as being super hydrating, great for an everyday look if you're not wearing makeup or if you're going to hydrate before you do your makeup in the morning. Next up are a few serums. Now, this is the Good Jeans. This one I actually picked up from the UK. This is the Glycolic, but my very first exfoliating serum was the Good Jeans Lactic, and that's what we can get here in the US. So I'm just kind of trying to fin finish this up before I buy another one of the Lactic Good Jeans. This is a beautifully exfoliating serum. Lactic is great for mature skin. So if you haven't tried an exfoliating serum, the Good Jeans is a great entry-level one. I gifted it to my cousin who is just getting into skincare and she loves it. The Ordinary has just come out with a berry repair serum and it is on the Sephora website. This is called the Soothing Barrier Support Serum. And as someone, one of you guys pointed out when I reviewed it last week, it looks like Pepto-Bismol. It does. It has multiple vitamin Bs in this. Vitamin Bs are soothing, they're antioxidant, they're skin protecting, they help with brightness. And this has vitamin B12. It also has vitamin B3, which we all know is niacinamide, which helps to visibly minimize the look of pores. 
And as we age, our pores do get a little bit bigger. I have never really had visible pores, but as I've moved into my 50s and wiser years, my pores are a lot more visible than they used to be. So niacinamide can really help with that. It also improves the skin's tone, softens fine lines, diminishes dullness, and strengthens the skin barrier. The other key ingredients in here are ceramides, which help with transepidermal water loss and skin barrier repair, and two brightening products or anti-redness products, Zabalol and diglucosal gallic acid. Both of those are for reducing redness, calming the skin. So this is a great little serum. It's one of the Ordinary's best serums I think that they've come out with recently because it has multiple ingredients. It's not kind of following that theory that they have of one ingredient serum. So if you want a one and done for barrier repair, I think you should give this a try. I've been using it for a little patch of redness that I've had on this right cheek, and it's really been helpful for soothing and calming. One of my longtime favorite moisturizers from Sephora is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. It's replenishing, it's plumping, it's got the antioxidant rich Japanese purple rice, which contains anthocyanin, which is a really potent antioxidant to help with UV damage. It also helps with pollution and skin stress. I put a little bit of this on in the morning under one of my sunscreens, and then in the evening, I put a thicker layer after I'm done with all my skin treatments in the evening and it just seals everything in. It's a beautiful moisturizer for the cooler months. It's one of my favorites along with the peptide night cream from Dermatology, but I love this moisturizer. And like I said, I've used it for years and it's one of my all time faves. My two top picks for sunscreen from Sephora are a mineral sunscreen, the Murad City Skin Age Defense, four pluses, SPF 50, a mineral sunscreen, which is soothing and calming to the skin. Another favorite is, this is the one I travel with all the time, is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. And this is a chemical sunscreen. Let's move on to my favorite body care from Sephora. A new find is Necessaire's Body Peel. I did a video on body care, but I hadn't discovered this yet. And this would definitely have been in it. This is a similar treatment to slather that you can use one to three times a week. It's a little more potent. It has alpha hydroxy acids, lactic and glycolic, beta hydroxy acid, and polyhydroxy acid. So it is a bit more intense. I would say it's more of an exfoliating treatment. So you get out of the shower, maybe put a hydrating lotion on, maybe something very thin like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and then put this on or nothing, put this on, let it kind of soak in a little bit, and then come in with a moisturizer. Whereas the slather, you can use it more often. It's got retinol, urea, lactic acid, and squalane. So the Necessaire doesn't have retinol. So these are an interesting combination. You could use this twice a week and this two to three times a week, and your body will be so soft and smooth. Let's move on to hair care. This is on my wish list. I accidentally picked up the one that doesn't have the diffuser, and I really wanted this diffuser, and this set doesn't have it. So they have two sets of the Shark Hyper Air. Now, apparently, I have gray hair, which yellows very easily, so I'm always having to dry my hair on cool setting or just air dry it. But apparently, this has heated air plus ionized air, so it's an ultra-fast drying technology that doesn't cause heat damage. So I'm very curious to see how this does with my gray hair to prevent yellowing. And like I said, I picked up the wrong one, so I'm going to exchange this during the sale for the one that has the diffuser in it. Next up for hair care, one is a favorite that I've loved all throughout 2023, the Perfect Hair Day. This is a dry shampoo that I use on occasion between washes. I also will use it occasionally right after washing, just on the ends to give my hair some soft manageability and body. It cuts the frizz. After I shampoo my hair, I've been loving this treatment by Living Proof. It's a triple bond complex, very similar to the K18. The K18 irritates my scalp, this one does not. So I've been reaching for this, I would say about once a week to once every other week, just for a little bond repair and smoothing, just to cut down on the frizz. So if you're having trouble with the K18 with irritation or not really doing what you want, give the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex a try. Moving on to top picks in the makeup category, the first item is on my wish list. It's the Stilla Correct and Perfect palette. I have been very curious and very interested and experimenting with color correction, either before I put on my makeup or just as a one and done for a minimalist makeup look, kind of a no makeup makeup look just with color correction. And I've been blown away at what you can get just with a little bit of color correction. Now my color correction palette is from Saint Beauty and you guys recommended the cream palette, this all-in-one cream palette from Stilla. So I'm going to be picking that up during 
the sale and I'm very curious to see how it works. My top pick for mascaras is going to be no surprise. It's the Tower 28 Lengthening and Curling Mascara. It was in my top pick for 2022. It was a new find then. It remains in my top favorite mascaras for 2023. I really haven't found a mascara that compares to this. I do love my benefits, but I love this even more because you can do just one or two layers for a nice daytime look. It doesn't flake throughout the day and you can glam it up with a few more layers in the evening. So it is really one of my all-time favorite finds and will be constantly on repurchase. The next makeup item is a 2023 favorite find. It's the It Bye Bye Dark Spots Corrector. Love, love, love this corrector. It's a one and done corrector. I just swipe above and below my eye and it gives me just a one and done look. It's not like color correcting. It's a little bit more of a flat look and doesn't give that as similar of a skin like texture, but for an easy no makeup makeup day, just to give myself a little bit more of a refreshed eye look. I love it. I highly recommend it. It has hyaluronic acid. It's very moisturizing. It's a very thin formula. So if you hate corrector, I honestly think you should pick this up and give it a try. It comes in tons of different colors. So if you do try it, let me know. My top two picks for complexion products are both tinted moisturizers. I love a tinted moisturizer versus a foundation. I've actually moved away from foundations completely because I think on mature skin, tinted moisturizers that you can build up just give a much better skin-like finish and they don't accentuate our fine lines. The first is the Laura Mercier light revealer. This is slightly luminescent, and but not over the top. It just gives you kind of a brightened look to your skin. I love this. The second is the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Moisturizer. This is new to me, but when I did my Tinted Moisturizer review, you guys thought this one looked the best on me, and I thought it looked a little yellow, but after working a little bit with it, not putting as much on, I actually really love this Tinted Moisturizer. Both of these are my top two picks, and I reach for this one a little bit more than I do the Tarte Maracuja, but they're both wonderful tinted moisturizers. If you haven't tried them, definitely give them a try during the sale. My number one all-time favorite shadow palette, one that I can recommend to absolutely everyone. Everyone can find a way to use this palette and get some beautiful looks from it. It's the Tartlet and Bloom, the Amazonian clay palette. It's just a palette that's full of neutrals. If you like a minimalist look, you're going to love this palette. I reach for it probably more often than any other shadow palette that I own. And it's definitely my top pick for shadows in the Sephora sale. In the blush category, I have two new finds. First at the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Blush Wand. Now I do not find this blush to be matte, but that's what they call it. It is a cream blush. I think it looks beautiful on mature skin. The top is wonky, it's a sponge. You have to turn it on, squeeze a little bit out, and then turn it off or it will all dispense into the cap. So this is a love-hate relationship with the packaging of this product. I put it on the back of my hand or I just get too much on if I directly apply it to my skin. And the other thing is that when you close it, often the sponge rubs against the top and you lose some of the product. So there's so much wasted product in this. So that's my huge frustration with this product, just the packaging, but it gives the most beautiful wash of pink color on my cheeks and it's buildable. You can make it more intense. You can just use a light amount and share it out with your blush brush. I love this blush and it's beautiful on mature skin because it's got a cream base. It's not powdery. It's not cakey. So I'm loving this blush, but I hate the packaging. One of my other favorite finds for blushes this year are the Tower 28 cream blushes in Beach Place. This is Dream Hour, which is super bubblegum pink, and this is Party Hour. Now, the way I use Party Hour is to contour under the blush that I'm already using, and I'll use a little bit today. I've already used the Charlotte Tilbury blush wand, but now I'm going to just take a little bit of this with my finger and put it right under my cheekbone. And again, this is a cream blush. So it's just beautiful on mature skin. And I just give a little bit of contour using blush. So I absolutely love this. Also as a lip product. So these are actually lip to cheeks. So you can use these on lips, you can use them on cheeks, you can use the darker one for a little bit of contouring. Love this, the party hour I, use, I like as a lip product more than I like the Beach Please. The Beach Please is super big. So love these two new blushes and very excited to have discovered them this year. 
Next in the lip product area is an all-time fave Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Superstar Lips and Pillow Talk. This is what I have on today. It's very sheer, it's buildable. I keep one in almost all my purses. It kind of is that neutral tone that goes with absolutely everything. So one of my absolute favorite lip products is the Charlotte Tilbury Superstars. Another longtime fave is the Hourglass. This is their ambient light powder. I have that on today. I'm almost reaching pan on this and it had a little bit of accident a few weeks ago. <laughs> so I love this. I'm definitely repurchasing this. You can get this in a mini if you haven't tried it before and you're not quite sure. You can definitely try it out in a mini size. Westman Atelier's Lit Up Glow Highlighter is one of my absolute favorite highlighters. I got this as a birthday present a few years ago. And as you can see, there's quite a bit left. I love this and this is a case where I think if you got the mini, you would be fine because the price is almost half price for the mini as opposed to the full size, and it takes forever to use it up. My favorite way to use this is just to give a radiant glow to the high points of my face. I usually use this in the evening time, especially if I just wanna freshen up my makeup without actually redoing my makeup. I just put on some lipstick, put this on the high points of my face, and I'm out the door. So this is one of my absolute favorite finds at Sephora, and definitely one that I can recommend to everyone. I'm sure many of you are familiar with how the Sephora tiered sale works, but if you haven't shopped the sale in a while, or if you just need to refresh your memory, I'm going to put all that information in the next slide, as well as a slide of all my top 25 picks. Thanks very much for joining me and wishing you all a fantastic day and happy Sephora shopping. You can find all my top 25 picks plus information about the Sephora savings event on my website. All you have to do is click the link to my website, which is at the top of my comments and the top of the description under the title of this video. Tap on Seasonal Savings Guides. That will take you to actually all the savings events that are happening this season. At the very top is the Sephora Seasonal Savings Event with all my top picks and information on the event the dates and the membership tier level that you have to be, including the code that you'll have to put in to get your discount. You can also peruse all of my top 25, or you can just tap on the Sephora box and it will take you directly to the Sephora website and the savings event. As always, if you prefer to shop links directly within the YouTube website, all my links are listed under my video and posted in my pinned comment.